came out with some lipsticks and some lip pencils and you know you know when I heard I freaked out I have a lot of things from their collection and when they came out with lipsticks I freaked because you know I'm I'm a lipstick monster can we tell I think that was a great starter for him to come out with now that he's venturing into makeup so Christian Louboutin dropped some lipsticks on the 1st of September so I purchased seven lipsticks and two of the lip pencils so let's go ahead and get into the packaging so as you can see Christian Louboutin used his classic case here as you can see it has the red stripe down the middle and also you can see the name and the collection of your item and as you can see, the classic red colors in the collection comes in the same type of box as the nail polish. As you can see, they are twinsies right now. So with every collection, it's gonna have a classic red, but for all the other colors, they will come in this box here. And this one looks the exact same other than it has the gold trimming instead of the red. And you're gonna have the name of the collection and all that good stuff on the box. So the collection was inspired by the Egyptian Queen Nefertiti, as you can see from the design here. These bullets are housed in gold and black vowels and topped with a crown. It comes with a silk ribbon and a little Louboutin tag here that will tell you everything about your product because there's no name anywhere on the vowel, so you're going to definitely have to keep that tag so you can have all the information about that product. So it has a lifespan of 24 months and it has 3.8 grams of product. So these lipsticks are going to be a whopping $90. And yes, I think it's well worth it. As you can see, it has a nice weight to it. So it's definitely going to withstand the test of time. The designs on it are just perfection. It's not made with that cheap plastic material. It has a really nice sturdy body. So as you can see, the matte container is made from plastic, very cheap. So you get what you pay for, you guys. And as you can see, they have about the same amount of product. I think this lipstick is the perfect marriage between beauty and fashion. And if you own any lipstick over $30, I think you definitely should invest in at least one of these. Go to the makeup counter and make sure you pick out the perfect shade because they are pretty pricey. So make sure you do add that to your collection if you are a makeup junkie like me. So I did purchase mine off the Saks website and they only have it online. Well, the store that I wanted to go to in my area didn't have it in yet. They said they'll get it in, in about two weeks. So you might just want to go ahead and order it online. So the red trimming ones are just the staple in the collection. They stand for three different collections that he came out with. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So as you can see, the box is open like this. So you definitely have a display for your lipsticks. It's well protected in its own container. And this one here is the Rouge Louboutin Silky Satin. So this one is going to be a satin finish. I'm just pulling it out of the little case here. Okay, so as you can see, you can pull this straight out and underneath it has a little baggie here. I guess if you want to take it in your purse, you just throw it in this little bag here so that it will be well protected. I'm going to leave that inside the container. All of the lipsticks and the lip liners have this little claps here where you can go ahead and just put it on a necklace and wear it as a, you know, a charm. And I really, really love that look. So yes, I do love that feature. And it also came with this little tag that came on the necklace. So as you can see, the container looks like that. Very cute. And let's go ahead and open this one. So when you open it, the top has the red inside. And that's like the typical Christian Louboutin look. It has the red bottom. So it's definitely going to have the red bottoms inside the top. And here is what the lipstick actually looks like. We're going to pull this up. And it comes with this amount of product, which is a lot of product, I think. So the Silky Satin Collection comes with 20 shades. It leaves a silky satin finish to your lips. And it also applies medium to full coverage and is very moisturizing. 
And also, as you can see here on the top, it has the Christian Louboutin logo there. So that's how that looks. So this one here is Christian Louboutin Cher Volé. I think that's how you say it. Cher Volé lip color. And as you can see, this one has the texture all the way through the container and it has a different top. But I think all of them have, you know, gold and silver tops. If you want to see the comparison to the last one, as you can see, it is different. This one has the, you know, shiny look with the little texture there, but this one has full texture. The top is definitely different also. Here you go, this one looks like that, as you can see. So the Rouge Louboutin Share is gonna give you a nice sheer luminous wet look. Love the packaging on these, like I'm freaking out in the inside, I'm trying to keep my composure, but yes. These are the first time that I'm actually looking at these, but I wanted to wait and do it on camera so all you beauties can experience this lovely moment with me. All right, the next one I have here looks like that, and this is gonna be the matte one, I can already tell because the container is matte. <laughs> this one is called Rouge Louboutin Matte Velvet. So that is what this collection is called. They all have different designs on the top. That's what I really, really love about it. Ooh, it looks so weird. Very different, as you guys can see. And this is like your typical kind of blue base kind of red. And this one is supposed to be a full coverage lipstick. So as you can see, they come in three formulas, matte, sheer, and satin. And they also have 38 shades in all. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of the shades that I picked up. So the first one I'm pulling out here, of course the packaging looks like this with the gold and the gold uh, trimming on the front. And ooh, it's so pretty. As you guys can see, this one is a matte one. It has the matte finish with the little texture at the bottom and it's fully gold on the top. So this one is gonna be the Velvet Matte Collection. And of course it has the gold necklace on it. So this one is Zulu, and I do have Zulu in the nail polish. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And this is Zulu, ooh, it's so pretty. This is gonna be the perfect nude for my skin tone. Can you see that? Very, very, very pretty. Next up we have another matte. And as you can see, same packaging. Let's go ahead and see what color this one is. Ooh, okay, so this color is Itamu. Itamu? Okay, and it says that it's a plum shade. Very pretty, deep purpley color here, like a, a blackish purple. It's gonna be great for the fall. This is my favorite so far. So I already have two lipsticks from the Matte Velvet collection. I think this one is gonna be from a different collection, hopefully, yes. This one is from the Sheer collection. As you can see, it has the texture, an all gold top. It has the gold trimming on the necklace. So this is UU, that's the name of the color. And of course, this one is gonna be the really glossy one. And this one's like a deep plummy color, as you can see there. Next, we have one from, okay, we have another one from the Matte Velvet Collection. So I have three from the Velvet Collection. Sir Viviti, I don't know, it sounds like it's Sir Viviti, but you know. <laughs> I think these are all French names, maybe. So this one looks like that, which is a nice, plummy color yeah it's like a nice pinky plummy color very pretty we have one more lipstick and this one is from this is the silky satin collection okay and let's see what color this is this is very pride and i do have this in the nail polish also another deep shade of course fall is here so i had to get ready for the fall so definitely definitely gonna be a staple in my collection i love this type of color all right so the next one that i have is the lip pencils which they call it lip definders and it comes in a container like this and you're just gonna remove it this one is not really practical to just keep it in it's not really as cute as the other boxes so this is how it came packaged. And here is the lip definer. I just love the packaging on these, they're so cute. And as you can see, it has a little uh, rope here and the little tag, the Louboutin tag. So as you can see, it has the black shiny look. It has like the gunmetal type of um, finish at the top and some gold. And to take it off, you have to spin it off because each time that you're taking it out, it's actually sharpening your product. So. I really don't know how this is gonna work because you can't just push it up or anything. It's just something where when you turn this, it's gonna push the product up and it's going to sharpen it some more. So that's pretty weird, but we're gonna see how that works out. And this one is in the color Safki. 
called Safki. And yeah, I can go ahead and swatch this one. This one is just a nice, beautiful brown color. And also I have one more lip definer, and this is in Ada. So this one is a muted brown color. As you can see there, it's much deeper. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything up close and some swatches, and then we'll get into the lip swatches. So I wanted to quickly show you guys all the different packaging that they have. Six different looks in black and in gold, and I just love them all. So the first one that I'm gonna be swatching is the Rouge Louboutin Sheer. And as you can see, this one is gonna give you a wet, luminous look. So it's definitely a sheer, wet look. And I'm also gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand. So as you can see, it's a sheer, very shiny look. Next, we have the Matte Velvet Collection here, and this is in the color Rouge Louboutin uh, Matte Velvet. <laughs> All right, so there is Swatch next to the Sheer. As you can see, it's very full coverage. I love it. It feels very moisturizing on the lips. It doesn't feel dry at all and it does give that matte look. The next one up is the Rouge Louboutin Silky Satin. It's very, very moisturizing, full coverage, shiny. I really, really like this one. I love the finish on this one, so it's gonna be very moisturizing and it's gonna give you a lot of color payoff. So there you go. As you can see the different finishes, you have the sheer, the matte, and the satin. Next up, we have the matte collection, the matte velvet. And this is in the color Sir V Vita, I think that's how you say it. So this one is giving me a pinky, plummy, type of look. So that's how that looks. So pretty, like a pinky, plummy color. Love it. Next up is Zulu. Oh my goodness, this is like the perfect nude for my lips. I love it so much. Very pretty. So let me start swatching them for you guys on my hand too. So here is Zulu. So the last matte velvet one that I have, this one is called Eton Mall. I am noticing as I apply it, it sometimes want to roll down. So yeah, just be mindful of that. It's just the direction that I'm going in is rolling it down a little bit. Love this one. So this one is definitely one of my top favorite ones. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch that next to that color I cannot even pronounce. <laughs> so there it is right there. Very pretty. So this next one is from the Silky Satin Collection and this is in the color very pride. It did trick me from the container. It looks more brown, but this one is like a deep wine burgundy shade. So there is the swatch on my arms. So the last collection that I have here is from the Sheer Collection, and this one is called You You. So of course this is gonna give you a sheer coverage, but it's very moisturizing, and it's definitely like a nice plum color. So there it is right there. Now we have the Lip Definers, and this one is in Saf Key. So I would definitely have to keep this on here so that I'll know what's inside the container, and it does tell you on the back what it is. 
and let's go ahead and try it on. All right, so that's what it looks like once I've applied it. So now let's take it back out. Oh, and it did come back up. So as you can see, we do have more product there. So I really, really love this. It's like a typical matte lip liner. Very pretty color. I love it all on its own, just as a, you know, a lipstick. So the last one that we have here is called Ada. And this one is gonna be the deeper brown. I really, really love this color also all on its own. Very pretty. I wish they would come out with a lipstick like this. I really, really like it. Very pretty. So if you run out of product, all you have to do is put it back in, twist it down, twist it back up, and more product is going to come up. Let me see if I can do even more product than that. Yep. Right back up again. You guys see that? So I'm just going to place Zulu right over um, Ada, which is very pretty. All right, you guys, so that is all my swatches. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite color was. And all the details and specs on the products are going to be in the bottom bar below, so make sure you check it out for pricing and all that good stuff like that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. Hey, beauties, and welcome back to Beauties.